Have you ever finished a satisfying meal, leaned back in your chair, and suddenly felt like your eyelids weighed a thousand pounds? One minute you're energized and alert, and the next, you're fighting the overwhelming urge to nap. This experience is so common that many of us joke about having a food coma. But what's really going on inside our bodies when this happens? Feeling sleepy after eating isn't just laziness or a lack of motivation. It's a complex mix of biology, digestion, hormones, and even evolution working together. In this video, we'll break down why do we feel sleepy after eating, what's happening behind the scenes, and why this reaction is completely normal. From the type of food you eat to how your body processes nutrients, several systems shift gears the moment you take your last bite. Let's get into it, right here, on History of Simple Things. The first thing to understand is that digestion itself is hard work. When you eat, your body doesn't just casually process food in the background, it actively redirects energy toward breaking down what you've consumed. Blood flow increases to your stomach and intestines, so enzymes and acids can do their job efficiently. Because more blood is being sent to your digestive system, slightly less is available for other areas, including your brain. While this doesn't mean your brain is being deprived of oxygen, the shift can make you feel less alert. Your body is prioritizing digestion, and that change in focus alone can create a subtle sense of fatigue. This is especially noticeable after large meals. The more food you eat, the harder your digestive system has to work, which can amplify that sleepy sensation. Your nervous system plays a huge role in post-meal drowsiness. The human body operates under two main modes, the fight or flight response and the rest and digest response. Eating activates the latter, known as the parasympathetic nervous system. Once this system takes over, your heart rate slows slightly, your muscles relax, and your body shifts into a calmer state. This is great for digestion, but not so great if you're trying to stay awake at your desk or power through the afternoon. In simple terms, eating tells your body, we're safe, we're fed, now it's time to relax. That biological message alone can make sleep feel incredibly tempting. Blood sugar levels also play a major role in how you feel after eating. When you consume food, especially carbohydrates, your blood glucose rises. In response, your pancreas releases insulin to help move that glucose into your cells so it can be used for energy. However, in some people, insulin can overshoot its target. When too much glucose is cleared from the bloodstream too quickly, blood sugar levels dip afterward. This drop can lead to fatigue, sluggishness, and difficulty concentrating. This is why meals heavy in refined carbohydrates like white bread, sugary drinks, or desserts are often followed by an intense energy crash. Your body experiences a brief spike in energy, followed by a noticeable slump. Certain foods can directly influence the chemicals in your brain that regulate sleep and wakefulness. One key player here is tryptophan, an amino acid found in foods like turkey, eggs, cheese, nuts, and seeds. Tryptophan helps the brain produce serotonin, a neurotransmitter associated with calmness and well-being. Serotonin can then be converted into melatonin the hormone responsible for regulating sleep. While eating turkey alone won't knock you out, meals rich in tryptophan combined with carbohydrates make it easier for this amino acid to reach the brain. As serotonin and melatonin levels increase, your brain naturally begins shifting toward a more relaxed, sleepy state. 
Portion size matters more than most people realize. Large meals require more digestive effort, trigger bigger hormonal responses, and cause more dramatic shifts in blood flow. All of these factors combine to make drowsiness more likely. Heavy meals also stretch the stomach, activating nerves that signal fullness and relaxation to the brain. This physical sensation reinforces the idea that it's time to slow down. In contrast, smaller balanced meals are easier for the body to handle. They create fewer extreme changes, making post-meal sleepiness less intense or even unnoticeable. Not all meals are equal when it comes to inducing sleepiness. Meals high in sugar and refined carbs tend to cause sharper spikes and crashes in blood sugar, leading to stronger fatigue. Fatty foods, on the other hand, slow digestion, which can prolong feelings of heaviness and lethargy. Protein-rich meals usually have a more stabilizing effect, especially when combined with fiber. Foods like vegetables, whole grains, and lean proteins digest more slowly and evenly helping maintain steady energy levels. This is why a fast food lunch often leaves you struggling to stay awake, while a balanced meal may leave you feeling satisfied but still alert. While you can't eliminate post-meal drowsiness entirely, you can reduce its intensity. Eating smaller portions, balancing carbohydrates with protein and fiber, and avoiding excessive sugar can help stabilize energy levels. Staying hydrated also plays a role, as dehydration can worsen fatigue. Gentle movement after meals, like a short walk, encourages circulation and helps counteract sluggishness without disrupting digestion. Most importantly, getting adequate sleep at night makes your body far more resilient to daytime energy dips. Feeling sleepy after eating isn't a flaw or a sign of weakness. It's your body doing exactly what it evolved to do. Digest food efficiently, restore balance, and conserve energy. So the next time you feel drowsy after a meal, remember, it's not just you. It's a finely tuned system responding to one of the most fundamental human activities, eating. Thank you for watching. If you have suggestions for our next video, feel free to share them in the comments below. We'll be sure to give you an acknowledgement for your contribution. If you enjoyed this video, please check out our other bingeable channels. Thank you for joining us on this journey through the history of simple things. Don't forget to like, subscribe, and stay tuned for more stories woven through the smallest details.